Hello there. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will take you through problems on applying linear motion using hydraulic cylinders in industrial hydraulics and pneumatics. Let's begin with this question. Find the cylinder force required to move a 6,000 newtons weight along a horizontal surface at a constant velocity. The coefficient of friction between the weight and horizontal support surface is 0 0.14. Solution. Given. Load W equals 6,000 newtons. Coefficient of friction mu equals 0 0.14. Finding the cylinder force required. Which equals 840 newtons. Here is a second question. Find the cylinder force required to lift a 6,000 newtons weight along a direction that is 30 degrees from the horizontal direction is shown below. The weight is moved at a constant velocity. Solution. Let. Load W equals weight or load acting vertically downward. Cylinder force equals load acting on the cylinder. Bearings force equals force on the bearings. Alpha equals angle between the load W and the axis of the cylinder. Finding the cylinder force required. Cylinder force required equals 3000 newtons. Here is the last question. A 6,000 newtons weight is to be lifted upward in a vertical direction for the system shown below. Find the cylinder force required to 1. Move the weight at a constant velocity of 1.75 meters per second. 2. Accelerate the weight from zero velocity to 1.75 meters per second in 0 0.5 seconds. Solution Given Load W equals 6,000 newtons. 1. Finding the cylinder force required to move the weight at a constant velocity, which equals 6,000 newtons. 2. Given. Final velocity V equals 1.75 meters per second. Initial velocity U equals 0 meters per second. Time T equals 0 0.5 seconds. Finding the acceleration. which equals 3.5 meters per squared second. Finding the force required to accelerate the weight. Which equals 2140.67 newtons. Finding the cylinder force required. Cylinder force equals 8,140.67 newtons. 